Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to measure the uh, volume conductivity of the link stat materials that we have here in front of us. So the first thing that's important to do is to find out how thick these materials are. So here we have the MVCF uh, 40012S-2. And so if we start out to find out what the thickness of this material is, using a digital uh, micrometer, you can see here that this is, here I have a value of 0 0.096, I'll measure it in one other place here. Point zero nine three, so we could say that it's about 0 0.1 millimeter, which is 100 microns thick. So the 4 in the VCF gives an indication for how thick it is. 4 mil is about 100 uh, micron thick. So the way to test the volume conductivity is kind of a little bit difficult because there's not really a standard test that tells you exactly how far apart from each other the probes need to be when you're running the test. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a few different measurements and we're going to take average values of these when we're writing them down. So the first uh, test that we're going to do is uh, a distance of one centimeter or ten millimeters. So just using regular ruling here and using a uh, multimeter, we're going to record the, the measurements that we have here on the v MVCF uh, link stud material. So at a distance of one centimeter, I'm going to take this in three different locations. See that we have here a value I'm going to, just for the sake of consistency, I'm just going to count to 10 and get a value from there. Thereabouts. You can see here that the multimeter settles down around 30k ohms. So that's 30,000 ohms. It's set here on auto range. You can see it goes from M mega ohms, kilo ohms, and then just regular ohms, depending on how sensitive the values are. So I'm going to repeat that value also, that test again. So that first one was 30. The second one we're going to do here, also with a centimeter apart. You can see that the value that we get here this time is also about 27. And if I take another value here, the value we get here is about 30. And then the power shut off. Not so handy. That's OK. So take this last value here centimeter apart, goes into the kilo, 30,000 ohms. Okay, so we could see that for the distance of one centimeter, 10 millimeters, the average value is about 30k, and so that's the value that we would report for that uh, volume conductivity. Uh, the next one we're going to do is for a distance of 10 centimeters, so this one here is 100 millimeters. Again, we're just going to take three random places here. You see that the values that we get here, if previously they were 30, now they're running up to about 47, in this case here. Let's do another test. So around here, here, 10 centimeters apart. This one here is gives about, if you see the, do you see the numbers on the multimeter there? They're about 47 again. And then one more value. more test. See again about 48 again. So the tests uh, do definitely are definitely repeatable where you get a pretty average value of what they are for any particular product that we're testing. So for the 4 mil sheet of the link stat material with this thickness you could see that the the value that, we, that we would then report would be the 10 centimeter value which is about 47 kilo ohms per square. The next test that we're going to do is we're going to uh, laminate these sheets together or before we do the laminating of the sheets together I'll do one other test for the through uh, conductivity but then I'm going to take these sheets together and then we're going to start applying pressure to see what the differences are. So check for another video after this once we run them through the lamination to see what the effect of that is. Before we end this video though, I am going to do one more test which is going to test the through plane. And the way that we test the through plane is we take this copper, this is a conductive copper that we also sell, a Linkstat uh, copper foil tape. And what's important is that it has a 
conductive adhesive on the back of it. So the conductive adhesive, you could see that if we just take the bare values of the copper, to zero to zero, uh, copper to copper, you can see that the value that we get for the volume conductivity is 0 0.0.6 ohm, which means essentially it's conductive. There's no measurable, no real significant measurable resistance of the copper uh, foil on its own, which is a basis to start to then find out what the resistivity is of the link stab material that we're testing. So then we take these two probes, and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap them up in the copper wire, in the copper foil. And we take this and we press it, we take it from the top here. On one side we apply the top probe, on the other side we apply the other probe. I'm trying to find a way to Close. And what you can see is what's important is as long as the copper is above each other, then it's uh, essentially there's no resistance from the copper, and the only distance that you're measuring is between through the fo uh, film itself. So if you take these values and quite to as planned. values for the conductivity and then you start getting a conductivity uh, between the sheet itself so if you just wait just a moment see that there will be a conductivity reading that's coming up here or not I'm gonna have to run uh, this test again once the equipment is tested, I think we'll just have to try one last time here. There we go. Now we're starting to get a value. So you see that uh, once it start, once it gets calibrated and it settles down, we end up with a value. This is then a through plane conductivity. And the conductivity here is then, see the numbers bounce around between 25 and 30. But we could say here that the through plane resistance of the MVCF 40012S is about 22 kilo ohms. So I'm going to stop this video here and then I'm going to show what it looks like once we put it through the laminator.